Glaze pens by Sakura are an inexpensive way to create shine and dimension on your cards. Unlike thicker products such as crystal lacquer, glaze pens go on thinner and you're able to apply them in very small areas because the glaze flows out of the tiny tip of a pen and it dries super fast which is great when mass producing cards for the holidays. Line art images are great to use with glaze pens and once you color them and apply the glaze, the color pops even more. It's easy to do. All you need is a line art image that you've colored and you can color them with colored pencils, Copic markers, water-based markers, it doesn't matter, whatever you like to color with. And then I'm using a clear glaze pen. Now glaze pens do come in other colors but I really like the clear because you can use it with any color. Okay, now when you first open your glaze pen and you want to make sure that you don't lose this little piece because you want to store it this way, you'll see a little ball right on the very tip of the glaze pen. That comes off and what that does is that protects the tip of the pen and protects the glaze from drying out. It keeps the glaze from drying out. And then I always like to start it a little bit on a piece of scratch paper just to make sure the glaze is flowing out well. You can see that right there. Okay. So what I've done here is I've colored my wreath and I'm going to apply glaze just to the fruit and to the ribbon because I want to make parts of it seem just a little bit more raised and that will give it nice dimension. And you can see how easily this glaze just flows right out of the pen and really creates a shine. Now it might be just a little bit difficult to see it on the camera, but once I pick it up and move it in the light, you'll really be able to see the shine from the glaze. And what's nice about this is because it's like a pen, you don't have to worry about trying to get it into any precise areas. You just color right over the areas that are already colored. And that's all you do. You can see how easy that's coming together. And then I would continue to color my fruit. And then to color the ribbon, I'm just going to color the red parts. And I'm going to leave the black parts of the ribbon just like matted and muted. And it'll really be a nice contrast when you see it in the light. You can see that glaze in there just a little bit as it's starting to dry. Now, remember to always put that little ball back on the tip of the pen before you seal it up and that will protect your glaze from drying out and it will also protect the tip of your pen. And you can store these pens either laying down or upright, it doesn't matter. Now let me show you my finished card project. And as you can see as I turn it in the light you're able to see that beautiful glaze and just my fruit is highlighted which really the contrast between the leaves and the fruit really makes that focal image pop. Glaze pens come in colors too, but my favorites are black and clear. Clear works perfectly over any color to create a more vibrant depth, and black can add the perfect touch on the tip of a reindeer's nose or highlight the charcoal buttons down the front of a snowman. <laughs>